we have set up our dimensions and our dimension values and we can now look at how we can enter some of these dimensions and dimension values into a sales order. So to enter a dimension manually into a sales order, we have a sales order that I've prepared here um, with a new customer and they're looking to purchase some shares from us. Set that up very quickly and I'll be looking to purchase this particular chair in a quantity of 12. We'll also set up a line for a resource and we'll send our resource mark across to spend an hour assembling the chair for them. Uh, it's important to know, for in this particular uh, demonstration, the quantities and amounts are not too important. However, we will be looking at setting the dimensions, and we can do this in one of two places, on the header and on the lines. In most cases, setting the dimension on the line is the most important area. We can set dimensions on the header when we need to apply the dimension across all lines on a document, especially if we have a lot of lines on the order that all require the same dimensions. So to set dimensions on the header, we can go to more options, and navigate here, order and dimensions. And in this particular scenario, I'd like to enter the customer group and specify that our customer is a medium-sized business there. So we've populated that detail through. So when we're happy with this, we can close this mini page that we have up here, and we're given a, a warning, uh, or rather a confirmation from Business Central to update the lines with the changes we've made to the dimension on the dimensions page. We'll say yes, as I do want to apply this change to all of the lines on the order. We can review the changes we've made or add further line specific dimensions by selecting the line we wish to look at and then going to more options, line, related information, dimensions. And we can see that the dimension we specified on the header is now visible on the line itself for the customer group and medium. For our item and resource line, we may want to specify new dimensions that are specific to the line. Thankfully, the dimensions uh, that apply to all of the lines have, all, have been set already thanks to our previous action of updating the dimension on the header. We can now look at adding individual dimensions. So for our item line, I'll go back to the dimensions page and we'll add a new line for activity and we'll add chair as we're dealing with chairs. And for our resource line, we'll also go to the dimensions here. And we'll add a new line again for activity, but this time, as we're dealing with our resource who's looking to make these chairs, we'll add install. Now our order is ready for posting with dimensions.